well, I'm back. Now, um, I know you guys got some questions, and I am sorry that I haven't made a video in one month. Um, lots of things have happened, and I got some news. I'm just going to bring it out. First news, I am going to be getting a desktop PC. So, I will be no longer playing on this notebook of mine. So, yeah, that's that's exciting for. So, with the new PC, I'll be able to do some recording of gameplay. And, honestly, it's always what I wanted to do from the start. <laughs> but I've been doing some creative videos, like the uh, low-end, can the HP Stream 11 run series. Um... Surprisingly, uh, that series kind of died because it was my fault, really. It's just me being lazy on that. I, I'm sorry if you guys were interested and wanted more like help and you know all that stuff. But it just it takes time to make a video like that. And the way that I did it, I did it so poorly that it's now it doesn't even deserve to be called a video. It was that bad. <sighs> Man. And just, like, there was no editing, it was just all messed up, like, it was just poor, poor content, and I am surprised it somehow got some views, but probably because of the, uh, people want to know it, they can run on, like, the shittiest thing ever. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm getting a new PC, um, when I'm probably going to get it next month, and it's going to be, like, a mid-end computer. Um, I'm not gonna be getting like eight hundred dollars. I'm probably getting like a five hundred or maybe three hundred something, like around that price. Um, and you may be thinking, why don't I do a custom build instead? Well, um, my I actually I just asked my stepdad today, and he uh, I I told him I could have made a two hundred fifty dollar build, but he was like, nah. Like, what if he I get, he gets all the parts and all of a sudden it doesn't work? And I told him that rest assured that it will work. Because if you have all the necessary parts, it's going to work. So he's like, nah, uh, let's just buy a desktop PC that's already pre-made. So I was like, no, okay. And he was talking about it was expensive and all that. But uh, he decided that um, to make a plan that, um, that next month I'll be able to get a desktop PC. And we're going to be going to Best Buy because that's where he got his PC and it was 800 bucks. That was... 10 years ago he got in 2006 it was it was quite surprising uh he was gonna offer me his old computer but i wouldn't be able to like get parts to upgrade it because it's too old and also it's just a little bit dusty and a little bit uh loud with the fan <laughs> but you can't really complain for 800 dollar computer that was 10 years ago but i probably can't game that well because uh I mean, maybe it's actually able to run CSGO, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, um, yeah, so, yeah, so, getting a new PC, yeah, let, let me just stay on topic and keep this going. Um, so, um, with what's going to be happening, so once I get the new PC, I'll be recording gameplay of me and my friends just playing games. Um, maybe start a series, and there's definitely going to be a lot of CSGO videos on my channel, um, low-end videos, so... Um, with me getting a new PC, low-end videos might die, and now that that's going to happen, I won't be um, posting your low-end videos, but if there are people with low-end computers and do want me to continue doing videos, I will only be taking requests on certain games. So if there's like a certain game you want me to try out that I have, like I'll just, you know, go through my library, you know, you can pause the video and take a look at it, I'll go back. Those are all the games I have, and I have tested almost all of them. There are some games that don't run, and there are some games that do run. So, yeah, and if you want me to test GTA 5, that is out of the question. No, that game cannot even start. Two gigabytes of RAM is not going to work on this system. <laughs> yeah, trust me, guys, I, I tried. GTA 4, unoptimized, as always. So don't even ask me about that. Uh, um, so yeah, if you guys want me to test any other game that doesn't destroy this laptop, then yeah, I'm willing to do that. But anyways, so yes, 
um, the PC is going to happen very soon. So once that happens, I'll be post I'll be um, posting some good content and hopefully some get some editing going on. I gotta I'm re I'm really new to editing videos, so I don't really know how to I just know how to clip and like paste stuff and clip videos. So adding effects and all that and like you know like I'm, I'm of course I want to make sure the video quality is good. But yes, I'll be doing some of those videos. Yeah, mommy. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Honestly, I should have just paused instead. <laughs> Ugh, that's great. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys to, you know, supporting the channel, helping out. And it's just surprising. Like, I, I was just checking my YouTube channel. My, uh, my friends saw them, saw my channel. And they were like, whoa, your channel, man, it's just booming, man. I'm like, yeah, I haven't posted anything in the one month, though, so I'm not sure how it's doing this. So, yeah. Um, I was originally going to get a PS4, but one problem with that. Games, TV, and subscriptions. And getting a PS4 meant that I would have to get a PS4. So I was gonna get the Infinite Warfare bundle, so 250, TV, uh, the cheapest one's 100, so 350, a PlayStation Plus subscription, 60 bucks, so 410 dollars. Um, games, 60 bucks unless you get used games, so like 40 or so like 30 to 60. So uh, it's uh, it was obvious. I had a library for all games on Steam. I have a couple friends playing on PC. PC is just better overall. Console, I would have chose console if I didn't have anything on PC. Like, I'd never played PC in my life, which was console. But I have, so there's no point wasting that experience and skill that I gained from playing PC. So, yeah. Also, another thing. Um, there are, um, I've been optimizing my laptop for the best performance so I can get every frame out of it. And I've been doing some tweaks, and I finally made CSGO playable but I wouldn't say you would want to play the game if you have this computer like trust me um, this game is still CPU intensive I use all these commands these commands I used without these commands the game would just run like shit and I also got auto config so yeah so the game I usually get like I get 15 to 30 frames. 30 is the max. I usually get 15 to 25. So, yeah. If you're desperate, like I just played a match, I was able to get 20 kills and 17. No, actually, no. 17 kills and 20 deaths, which is not bad for a death match. I was playing a dust too because it's more optimized. And so, yeah. Um, surprisingly, it did decent, but that's. CSG is really pushing the laptop to the limit, so yeah. But anyways, of my nonsense, yes. So um, I won't be recording and uploading stuff for till I get my new PC. I will be doing some benchmarks, talking about like what it feels like to get a PC and move on to something more modern and more powerful than something that's solo and not made for gaming. So I'll be talking about that. Um, I just want to thank you guys for supporting me, and you guys have been uh, quite a big help. And, yeah, that's all I got. So, uh, hopefully I get a good PC that I can record and play games on. Hoping to get a NVIDIA graphics card so I can use Shadowplay, because Shadowplay has like the minimum performance drop, which is what I want. Now, uh, I only got like 45 seconds left. So, I just want to end it off that this YouTube channel, it's going to keep going. It's not dead. So, free to subscribe for more content coming very, very soon. And sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm not going to upload a CSGO video. Tried to do that, but Bandicam Cam didn't bother even working. Plus, I'm pretty sure that would just crash CSGO and, or just make the game run slow. But anyways, thank you guys so much for your support. Leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to like ask questions or request a video. I'm free to do anything. So, thank you, and peace out.